Carpenter here. I'm going to discuss with you the topic of training intensity and training volume and how they relate to muscle building. So training volume is defined basically as reps times sets. So if you're performing five sets of 10 on chest, your training partner is performing five sets of 15 on chest, they're training at a higher volume than you are. Training intensity is defined as a percentage that you're working at of your one repetition maximum. So if you can one rep max squat 100 kilos and in your workout you're squatting 80 kilos, you're working at 80% of your one rep max. It doesn't matter how hard you feel you're working. A lot of people that try and define intensity by how hard they think their own workout was, but that, that's not the definition of intensity. So if you do one rep at 90% of your one rep max, working at 90% intensity, it doesn't matter if your training partner is working at 70% of one rep max and they squat until they throw up, their spleen blows up, they shit themselves, doesn't matter, you'll still work at higher intensity percentage of your one rep max not how hard you feel you work okay reiterated so um just as a kind of brief um intro training volume and train intensity uh tend to be inversely correlated so if you come one rep max let's use a squat analysis if your squat one rep max is 100 kilos you will obviously be able to perform less reps at 80 kilos uh, than you would at 50 kilos. So usually as the weight goes up, your reps will go down and vice versa. So generally speaking, weight, intensity, and volume are inversely correlated. As one goes up, the other goes down. It's like a seesaw. Okay, so what I'd like to ask you is, what do you feel is most important? Training intensity or training volume? if you could only pick one. Most people would say training intensity because current recommendations tend to say that you need to work between 60 and 80% of your one rep max to achieve a muscle building response. Now, let me get something out of the way. Training intensity has to be paired with adequate volume. Everyone knows this, but they don't necessarily realize this. So for example, if exercise intensity was the only factor, you could go to the gym and perform a single rep at one rep max, i.e. 100% intensity, and you could leave, and that would be your workout for the day because that alone would achieve uh, adequate muscular hypertrophy. Now, obviously this isn't the case. You go and you perform enough volume at that intensity. So intensity has to be paired with volume. It has to be. Um, on the contrary, can you achieve muscle building responses with a lower intensity given enough volume? So here's, here's, here's the research. Um, there was a study that looked at leg extensions. They would have groups working at a low percentage of their one rep max and groups working at a higher percentage of their one rep max and performing sets to failure. So the number, the training volume was uh, regulated by the weight they're using. So, for example, if I gave you 30% on a leg extension and you rep until failure or rep until fatigue, you will obviously perform more reps than you would at 80%. Now, what this concluded was that the group training at the lower volume, uh, sorry, the lower load and the higher volume had a heightened muscle building response than groups training at a higher intensity. So groups training at a lower intensity but higher volume had a greater muscle building response than those training at a higher intensity with a lower volume. So this was an acute study. They were looking at markers of muscle protein synthesis. Any of you that watch my videos a lot will know that taking a marker like muscle protein synthesis and speculating as to the long-term result is is uh, very, very questionable. Some things don't necessarily pan out in the long run. Thankfully, in this instance, further research was conducted on the topic. So this is the single study that I'd like you to remember because it's the long-term study rather than looking at acute changes. So 
10 weeks training three times per week using leg extension protocols. There were three groups. Group one, 30% one rep max, three sets. Group two, 80% one rep max, three sets. Group three, 80% one rep max, one set. So what we have are two different training intensities, 80 and 30%. Two different training volumes, i.e. Uh, three sets and one set. Everyone was instructed to perform reps until fatigue or to uh, concentric failure. So obviously the lower percentage group, the 30% group, will perform more repetitions. That's a given. So what they found is that the muscle building response over the 10 week period was similar among all groups. However, the greatest percentage changes uh, tended towards the 30% group for three sets and the 80% group for three sets. So 80% three sets and 30% three sets outperformed the single set group. Not a massive surprise to anyone that, that does um, multiple set weight training. However, the interesting thing is that the 30% group equaled the 80% group in terms of muscle building. What this means is that given enough training volume, you can achieve hypertrophy using a low load percentage of your one rep max. So let me just reiterate that. Even with a low load, you can achieve an adequate muscle building response given enough training volume. So that goes against the kind of 60 to 80% weight recommendation that people uh, commonly use. Now, important things to note with this study, both groups working at the 80% maximum had greater isotonic strength gains. So if you're someone that's worrying about strength gains, you still need to work at a higher percentage of your one rep max. Just throw that out there. But if you're looking purely for hypertrophy benefits, there is no reason why you have to stick between 60 and 80 percent from this research. Um, it's important to stress that this research is one part of the puzzle. It indicates to us that you can achieve muscle building using a lighter load. It doesn't necessarily mean it's better. It doesn't mean further research won't come out to um, either support or refute the hypothesis. It's just important for you to note that you can achieve muscle building using a low load percentage of your one rep max. So that's it. The conclusion for this video, um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll kind of paraphrase it from the study so I don't get so much hate mail. Um, volume appears to be the more important training parameter than intensity. That's it. That's the underline. So volume appears to be more important as a training parameter than intensity. And I'm quoting that from the study, so don't shoot the messenger. That's it. Hope you found it useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts, questions, feedback, etc. Uh, so please post them on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training, or my Twitter page, which is BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.